morning, David Reese Eagles. It is Monday, April 26th, and I hope you had a fabulous weekend. But let's start off our Monday like we always do with the pledge. Stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may have a seat. So first, I'd like to start off this morning with our Eagle Code. It's been a while since we talked about it, and I think your teachers probably have um, spoken more on it in the more recent weeks. But first off, let's re recite the Eagle Code, which is be safe, be kind, be productive. And I'd like to take a few minutes just to think about what that means. So even if you're at school or if you're learning from a distance learning platform, what does being safe look like? What is being kind look like and what is being productive look like for being safe you're wanting to make sure if you're on a distance learning platform that you are not giving your class code to anyone is only meant for your classmates and for your teacher and for yourself that's being safe you're being safe online you're making sure that you're not engaging with anyone that you don't know being safe here at school means that you're keeping your distance from each other you're giving uh, each other six feet of space to make sure that you are making your or wearing your mask. You're doing everything that you need to do to make sure that you're thinking about the health and safety of yourself and others. So take a few minutes this morning to talk about the other code, other parts of the code, being kind and being productive. What does that look like in your learning environment? That could be at school and that could be online. All right, so our focus this week if you remember, excuse me, this month, if you remember for a visible learner, is to be able to state what you've learned. And that goes to you being able to articulate or explain what you're learning and also being able to say why you're learning it. So you need to take some time with your class today and think of those things as well. What have you learned? Can you teach it to someone else? And why are you learning it? For the most part, you're learning anything just to be able to be successful, to make sure that you know what you need to know for your grade level and to prepare yourself for what comes next in your next grade level. So make sure you're thinking about ways that you can state what you learn and being able to explain why you learned it. At one point or at some point, we'd like you to be able to teach what you've learned. All right. Now we've come to the riddle part. And this is coming from one of your peers. Her name is Mia Delgado Rosales, and she is in the fourth grade. And here is the riddle that she shared. And it's one that I've heard of and one that I was able to answer, but I wanna see if you can get it. So the question or the riddle is, what is right in front of you, but you can't see it? What is right in front of you, but you can't see it? Take a moment, think about it. What is right in front of you, but you can't see it? And the answer to that riddle is your future. Your future is right in front of you, but you can't see it yet. I want you to think about your future and make sure that you're pushing hard to learn what you need to learn to get to your future. All right, enough said about that. Just have a fabulous week. And remember everyone, we are Reese. Enjoy your week. <music>